Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. When we left off last time, Chloe sent us a message. We're supposed to meet her out on the Blackwell Academy yard. Um, on our way out, we, we didn't make it to our last episode because we stopped to chit-chat with the few people who were still awake at this late time. Uh, now we are outside, so let's see what Chloe wants. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Well, we'll get there, Chloe. We've got some exploring to do first. All right, let's see what this is. Heard some kind of voice. Someone else is out here. Uh, I guess we'll sit for a minute. Tell us about it, Maxie. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Really? You lost your rewind power. It was sheer blind luck that got us to keep Kate from jumping. I would feel terrified. Is that squirrel jumping at the fireflies? I imagine that's a photo opportunity. Alright, let's go see if we can capture him in action. Chloe. Non-stop messages. All this texting. Don't run away. Well, please don't run away. Figure out. Dang it, Max. I think we, we probably could have got a picture. But we scared it. Alright, if we go over here, will it come back? Or did we just blow the opportunity entirely? Oh, that's what we need to do. Okay. Whoa, whoa! Settle that- I didn't want to go that far. Good grief. I just want to get a picture of the squirrel. Stay right there. Nowhere to run. Okay, let's. Okay, she's holding her head like maybe Hello, there are Rick limited amount of keys that I can use. All right. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Probably a good idea. Well, it's a little distressing if I have a limited number of rewinds and I just wasted a bunch of them on a squirrel. Principal Wells! Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Well, go hide somewhere. Or, wait, the obvious thing. Faster. Yeah, it's... It's taking it I out know, of there. I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Max the Ninja strikes well, again. All right, to the main campus. These keys are all broken. Where are you, Chloe? Oh, I should have looked at the messages. There might have been something actually important there. All right, what do we got here? Oh my gosh, there's everybody in their messages. Okay, so these are all the old ones. What do we got here? Yeah, yo, Max, just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool, and I'd love to reward you with dinner and escape to a planet of the apes. No pressure, truly. 
Thanks, Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight. Nathan got suspended, too, so it was a good day. I'll call you later, okay? All right. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Hey, horror feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Oh, wonderful. Mom? Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are so proud of you for saving this girl, and we want you to know how you we want to know how you are, so please, please get in touch. We love you. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes, swear. Thanks for letting me gush over our Blackwell hero. I miss your voice. We're very proud, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want us to come up, if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. And Chloe. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Max! Settle it down, Chloe. Well, I say I'm kind of wandering around taking my time. I'll get there. You know what? While we're right here. Okay, why are we all the way back at page one? And then I clicked the wrong thing. All right, here we go. Tuesday, what's new? Okay. Da, 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 da. Uh, we'll get. There's so much to go through. Booyah! <gasps> Ooh! Chloe. Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Well, don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the blaze. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Well, yeah, that too. Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. No, that was a good decision. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Um, you know... I, I do want to follow up on Kate, I do, but for a while now, I have really wanted to look for some clues about Rachel, so let's get into it. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Probably, I mean, it seems like there's a good chance she is dead, but I don't really want to say that. Uh, kicking it, does, does that mean, like, partying? Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. All right. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. So, any ideas where to start? Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. All right, ladies. Well, I'm glad to have the keys. I'm actually a little concerned about the effect Thank this could have so much for helping me put together on David Madsen. What if it gets him fired or Hopefully something? Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. 
Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? What? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. What is going and, on uh, here? I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. Wow. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Well, that was pretty skeezy, Victoria. So stupid. What's stupid? Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. But what was he doing talking to her so late at night? Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. I just get a weird vibe from him. The way all the, st the students are like fawning over him, all the female students, it... And it does in that situation there look like Victoria's the bad guy. She's the one obviously making insinuations to him. But I don't know. What's he doing talking to her late, so late at night? Why? I mean, it seems like she's obviously... I mean, maybe she, over, she, she oversteps some boundaries, but it seems like there's a degree of comfort she has with him in the f first place that already shouldn't be there between teacher and student. It... I don't know. I don't... Mostly, I, I probably, if, if I'm honest, a lot of it is because of what he said about Kate just really pissed me off. And so I'm looking for reasons not to like him now. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. Uh, Chloe, I'm, I'm pretty sure they can. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. But he'll probably get so fired. better find out what's in the principal's office first. Okay, that is pretty exciting, you actually. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers. Did Max. you not hear and me say, Chloe? My powers save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Alright, and I really do want to go in there, but let's just... See if there's anything else before we do. No, no getting. Oh wait, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, let's have a look see. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. I'm not gonna change the grade. Ass biology. Ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> it's just the digestive system, Max. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. Max, science isn't that hard. I never said they were great, troll. Max takes shitty selfies. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but 
I want a picture. Well, good evening, fish fish. Sorry, fish, I'd leave you alone. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Except I feel a compulsion to try and get all of the pictures, so... Please resume your slumber. Anything else in here? I do like the mysterious exploring at night music we've got going on in the background. Ooh, gross. At least switch to E6. Well, with two pictures, I'm feeling this room was quite worth it to step into. Well, let's continue looking around. I want to look at Mike Jefferson's room, see if he's hiding anything in there. It does seem a little unlikely. I mean, you'd think he'd be smart enough not to keep anything at his job. But maybe we'll get lucky. In we go. I feel silly thinking of myself as an everyday hero for helping Kate. But it's cool that other people do. Now if I could only find Rachel. You really do qualify as an everyday hero for that, Max, because you know that without your intervention, she would have died. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Victoria. That is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. That's it? Well, then what's he complaining about? Oh, Max is the only person I haven't got a picture from. There's more people in the class. What about Alyssa? Says... I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work. But he does have some style. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Alright, anything else in here? This room is disappointing. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Well. That was disappointing. Nothing in the garbage or anything? What about this door? Where's this go? She doesn't even care. All right. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Well, let's see what else we can find. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the principal's office. I know. But we gotta see if there's anything in the bathroom. Oh, come on. Here's the opportunity. We could walk right into the gents. No one would say anything. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Maybe Kate started a revolution. <laughs> Flush the Vortex Club, eh? 
All right, Vortex Club sucks. Pray for Kate. Vortex Turd. Kate Marsh Power. What does that say on the bottom? Vortex Club Kilt Kate. I think that's what it's attempting to say with numerous missing letters. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Yeah, it did take something of a hit, huh? Alright, I think we are... Settle it down, Chloe. I'm ready. Now, ooh, what do we got here? There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. From David to Mrs. Grant. Dear Ms. Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, David Madsen. Which, I mean, he's... Calling the petition cowardly seems a little unnecessary, but overall it's a fairly courteous letter, you know? It does come across that he's just trying to do his job well. I'm afraid that since I signed the petition that maybe the security won't happen and that it'll, it'll end up being like really vital to something happening to me and Chloe. Although I wonder if I hadn't signed it, maybe there would be security here right now catching us in the act. So, hmm, I don't know. Food for thought, I guess. Well, they get their own private bathrooms. Ooh, how about all these keys? Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal? Alright. Alright, thus far, ladies, we are, have not found anything particularly useful. I'm still happy with the two pictures I got, but not especially useful. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Well, how do you propose we do Believe that? Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. All right, I have an well, idea yes, where to I start. Could. This wall of keys seems rather promising. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Would have been too easy, I guess. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. What? It's just a hat. What makes you a phony if you wear a hat? Oh, Max, I just... Why do you care what people are wearing? <sighs> no keys here. It just bothers when people say, Oh, that person's a phony. That person... Because of what they're wearing or, like, hipster or whatever else. Like, some of us just wear Nothing clothes. To see here. Because we need to be covered up and comfortable. There doesn't have to be meaning to everybody's clothes. Desolation. Desolation in the drawer. All right. Crap. Well, that looked like a bunch of files. You don't think there could be anything useful in there? Boring. You don't even know what it is. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank, but I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Oh, don't wrap him into this. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. 
without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No. I'm just asking for fun. Uh-huh. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry. I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me. And thanks for the help. Yeah, quit pressing it, Warren. We already said it no to movies. Ass. Let it go. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. All right, we will look at his messages in just a moment. Is there... Sugar? Is that something on the list? Ooh, sugar. I'm guessing. Only three more items to go. And I can't explore anymore? Bummer. All right. What you got, Warren? Okay. All right. Now, pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape, sodium chlorate. Well, that'll be in the science lab. Here's how you'll do it. Sugar in the can. We're going to make an explosive. This is really subtle. Any questions? Sodium chlor, W2, yeah, it's, it's, it's not that hard, Max. It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Shit, everybody knows that. Okay, I wouldn't know offhand how to use it to explode something, but... If he says, this is what you need, and you have a thing that says sodium chlorate, you just go in the lab and look for the bottle that says sodium chlorate. So are you really going to try this? Keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Classic nerds are people who know offhand how to blow things up. Well, well. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. You're halfway home, Max. What, Warren? You still there? Did you blow up? Max, settle it down. Still here, didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Man, all this texting would drive me insane. I'm just not much of a texter. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. I don't really like talking on the phone either. Generally, if my phone goes off, I just feel irate. What do we got here? So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. You said you have access to the lab. They should just have some in here. Wasn't he using it the other day in his experimentations? I was thinking he did. Okay, where do you guys keep the chemicals? Chemistry. Stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Well, it looks like we'll be taking the weed killer then. Here's the sodium chlorate box. Well, grab it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> Only one more ingredient left. Yep. Duct tape. Where do I think duct tape's gonna be? Maybe, I'm a, just guessing the photography room here, because there hasn't been anything useful about it so far, so. 
This is like a scene in a horror film. Take a picture. All right. Duct tape, duct tape. Where might you be? Aha! The tape is mine. Now right. it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Actually, it's time to wind down the episode. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. Uh, apparently, we are going to blow up the door to the principal's office. This really seems like a terrible idea, but I have to admit, I'm curious to see what's in there.